Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take another look at Valkyrie here because she is dropped by Alad V and he can be a pain because you've got to take out the robot before you take him out. Big problem is if you get too close to him he can basically pull you out of any ability you're in. If you're invisible you'll just flash the screen and you're out of your ability. If you're uh, using Valkyrie and you're using a Hysteria then he can also pull you out of that which kind of sucks. She has four abilities, like the rest of them do. Uh, Ripline is, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a basically grappling hook. You fly across the map with it. Warcry basically increases melee speed while slowing down nearby enemies. Paralyze uses your shields to kind of stun and do a little bit of damage to enemies. That one seemed a bit weird considering she has a shield capacity of 150 when maxed. And then we've got Hysteria, which is basically her party piece. She comes pretty much standard uh, with a V polarity for the aura, the four abilities around the outside, and two Vs, which is actually pretty handy for her because duration and power strength go really well in her. What we did though is we formatted her twice, we dropped one of the abilities, which was Paralyze. Uh, no, is it Paralyze? Yeah, I got that one right. <laughs> and we drop, basically dropped in two D polarities. And we'll put one of the Ds somewhere else. This is mainly because we concentrated more on her Hysteria than anything else. So we kept Hysteria, Warcry, and Ripline's only really in here to kind of pull her out of uh, sticky situations. Plus it's cool being able to pull other people towards you, or if somebody around you is in trouble, you can always pull them out of uh, danger. So it is handy to keep a hold of that. We only threw in the uh, health mod here, we didn't bother with the shield mod because in the other depolarity we have narrow minded. That is basically to increase the duration for hysteria. Problem is the lack of range on it means rip line suffers pretty badly actually as does Warcry if I'm honest. Warcry it, it affects your allies as well so if you really want to ha affect your allies and boost their melee speed you've got to get pretty close to activate it. All because of that. Mainly because it's pretty hard to fit a range mod back into this. We also have fleeting expertise and streamline in here because, well, we use the steel charge thing because she's a melee based uh, frame with hysteria and it gives a few extra points and them extra points do come in handy we did however keep steel fibre on her because she has a huge amount of armour she starts with 600 with that mod in there it's 1260 armour we dropped in blind rage to increase the power strength. It does take away from efficiency but that's why we've got two efficiency mods in. We've got rain, eh, range, rage in to because it's pretty hard to get power for her and she's got such low shields that comes in really really handy. With this build we've basically concentrated on hysteria because as I said before it's kind of a, a party piece because once you activate it you basically you become invincible for or invulnerable or god mode or whatever you want to call it for however long it lasts that's the only reason narrow minded comes in really useful with this build if you drop constitution and continuity into this build it will last I think it's over a minute or up to a minute but you are literally putting all your eggs into the baskets of being able to get close to them to actually use it and that used to be a problem but she was given a, an overhaul <laughs> and she was made to look really really nice because it's mainly the animation set for the hysteria thing it's been giving its own combo system you don't have to find a stance mod or anything, it's just there once you activate it. 
which was a bit of a nice touch. Finding a stance mod and then having to fit that would have been a bit of a pain, to be honest. So she's got a, a cool stance mod set. It's when you jump with her, when she's in hysteria, she does this forward roll type manoeuvre. But, obviously, the other reason why we kept Warcry in here is because it increases the melee attack speed. That does have a slight effect on Hysteria and you can just punch like crazy which increases the, the damage you can do because you can get more hits in. And them two do go really really well together but as I said before the biggest downside of this is Warcry is good for a party. like To use the ability with your allies to increase their melee speed as well. So having narrow minded into me just it's kind of a it's more useful for just her and her abilities but it, it it's also good because hysteria by itself with the narrow minded even if you take all the other abilities off if you're in a, a party and one of them goes down you are guaranteed pretty much nine times out of ten to be able to go up in hysteria and get them back up because she's immune to pretty much everything while in it Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.